Sports. Hi, my name is KT with MCS, and today I have a video for you guys on the installation of the wrist handguard. All right, let's check it out. So this is your wrist handguard right here. Well, we can install on the 468 and the 468 PTR and different markers here so you can see what's going on. So installing in a PTR or 468, you need the barrel nut. It comes with the mark, I mean, not doesn't come with it. You have to select the option for this mil spec barrel nut. There are different options, depends on the kind of gun that you have. You can see that the thread on directly. If you have a blizzard, a bolt, a vortex, you're gonna need an adapter. This adapter right here comes into the body and you can attach on your most spec handguard if you have other marker like a tmc or a tipman um a5 or a music m17 you still need to get an adapter for that all right so on this version right here once you have a thread on hand tight you can use a channel lock you can use a pipe wrench and to wrench it down nice and tight or you can invest into an AR wrench which the best tool for it, it goes into this little hole this little notch right there it grab onto the little hole right here and then from there it just kind of wrench on really nice and tight after that you slide your handguard over right there and there are four set screws right here someone comes inside this hole or sometimes it is you take them out and you put it onto these holes onto your handguard and from there secure down these screws right here and we will keep the handguard nice and tight it doesn't need much at all one thing to note these holes right here they're not for use unless you are using it for barrel version handguard okay so now the word is that the the barrel nut will attach directly onto the barrel right there the, you stick the barrel in and then you secure the this, the barrel nut directly onto the barrel. That means that your handguard, barrel, and barrel nut are one unit. You take off the whole unit. In this case, you are installing a free floating version. So the barrel and handguard are independent from each other. So when you install this, these holes right here do not go inside these holes. Okay, these screws right here, they don't align. They just slide straight directly over to align straight to the body to the center there and then secure down these screws right here and that's it there are four of them secure down that's all you need there's not much you have to do to other than that on your other version here if you're doing on a blizzard a bolt same thing and, and you, when you get your barrel nut adapter right there you are going to install that as well can i take this one off direction there same thing install it on and then wrench it in slide in your handguard just like that and of course align straight up to the center right there secure it down That's pretty much it. That's all you have to do when installing our wrist handguard. Don't forget that each marker requires different adapters. So if you're going to install it on your Bolt Blizzard, you want to get a mil-spec adapter too. If you don't get the mil-spec adapter, you still install it. You can do a barrel mount. Every gun can do a barrel mount, but it's just that your handguard and your barrel nut and barrel is one unit as opposed to make it where it's free floating like a handguard right now. You can see that the barrel is independent from the handguard. You can take it off as you, as if you want to clean it or maintenance without having to touch the handguard at all. All right, guys. Any question, comment, concern about the Riz handguard? Visit the website mcsus.com. Anyone can support you. Thank you for watching.